Hello everyone, I hope you have a nice holiday and that you enjoy your vacation. If you do have a little time left over, you could do this uh, manipulation or pattern for dartless bodice. So I'll explain everything right away. Before to start the pattern, I want to show you on a uh, real muslin what it's going to look like. So one side I did pin the dart so you could see it's a fitted garment. And on the other side I did the pivoting that we will do for dartless bodice. Uh, so I don't know if you could see but I sent part of the dart to the neckline. I left a little bit at the shoulder. I sent a big part at the armhole and the rest of it I sent it down at the waist. So, of course, I did not sew them. This block could be used for shirt. Uh, and, of course, you cannot have a fitted bodice in woven without the dart. So, this, this is why we use that block to make shirt, blouse, or loose fit garment. So let's start with the back. So, on another piece of paper or cardboard, you're going to trace your block. So you see that it's the basic block with the shoulder dart. So what we're going to do in the back is pretty simple. We're going to eliminate the shoulder dart by removing it from the armhole or the shoulder and armhole point. So first you're going to trace a square line from center back touching the shoulder and armhole point. So just do a little square line. And on that line, you're going to remove the value of the dart, so going towards center back. My center back dart was 1 cm, so I'm going to remove 1 cm and go back up to the original shoulder position. So this is going to be my new shoulder and armhole point, and I'm going to use my block to retrace the armhole in a very soft line. You could also use your French curve. I'm, I'm going to do with the French curve now so you could see better. Just as a soft, soft line. So you have a continuous armhole and you remove pretty much the same length as your original dart. Now the last thing to do is to soften the shoulder, so keep it curved because you do have ease in your back shoulder, you don't want to lose it. So just soft line removing the jug of the dart. And you could also, since we are not sewing the waist dart, you could also keep it completely straight. So remove the little jug. So now this block is my back and there's no more darts. For the front we will start the same way. I'm going to trace all around my original block. So I'm now going to use the blue one so you could see the difference between the two of them and where did the shoulder dart went. So I'm going to put back the block right on at the original position and I'm going to start distributing the shoulder dart. So at the neck area, just find a place maybe at the first third from the center front and you're going to measure 5 to 7 millimeter. And you're going to hold your pivot and open the neck about five to seven like I just said. Then from there you're going to trace until the first side of the, the dart. And you're going to measure, this time I have to push it a little, I'm going to measure from that notch towards the side seam five millimeter. So five millimeter is pretty much the ease of the back. So I'm going to leave 5 millimeter of the dart at the front shoulder so it's going to be even with my back shoulder. I put it back at the original position, hold my pivot and 
this time look at it, close the dart but until the 5 millimeter extra, not until the notch. 5 millimeter extra and then I'm going to trace until pretty much the notch area and I'm going to measure this time 1.5 and open my arm 1.5 now you could trace again, don't do the notch again, trace again until the second side of the dart, the one closer to the side seam. And your block is almost finished, the front block is almost finished, we just have to do the little correction. So from original, just make sure you have a continuous line to the new line. Shoulder line, you could do a straight line, and the arm all you're gonna retrace. Usually, what I do is I find a point between my two reference that I got, and I'm going to pass by that point. So, one side you're going to remove a little, and one side you're going to add a little bit. Your notch could stay there, but it's, it's going to be important to report the new notch on the sleeve. Now what we did, in fact we transfer only, I'm just tracing for you to see, we transfer about a centimeter to the bottom. The rest has been distributed all over the bodice and usually like, uh, like for the back, usually you're not going to sew that dart because you want it dartless. So you could just soften the line at the bottom, just at the dart area to remove the uh, jug of the dart. And as you could see, the side goes up a little bit and it's completely normal. We keep it that way. So you're done with your dartless bodice that we'll be using to do a shirt. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video if you liked it. And I say bye-bye and I see you next year. Bye!